The learning objective for this chapter is to gain a basic understanding of what weather routing is and how the voyage plan can benefit from this statistical data based on long-term accumulation of data combined with up-to-date weather routing information. Weather routing of ships has been effectively used for some time. Several different systems and philosophies have been developed and used. The advantages which may be gained from a weather routing system are quicker sailing between two points, reduced risk of damage to hull and cargo, more accurate prediction of arrival times. The savings can sometimes be considerable, not only by reducing damage due to heavy sea, but also quicker sailing times and avoiding unnecessary risks. The shortest distance between two points is along the great circle passing through these points. However, the weather, seas and currents experienced along this route will influence the time taken and result in this route not always being the quickest. Current, wind and particularly the waves will influence the ship's speed considerably and may cause permanent structural damage, such as pounding damage. The unexpected presence of severe storms, such as tropical revolving storms, TRS, may require moderating the voyage plan and taking avoiding action. This type of weather may be unpredictable, but it is essential that the voyage plan is adjusted to avoid excessive danger and damage. Similarly, unpredicted reduced visibility will require reassessment of desired speed and possible deviations. The statistical mean values for current and sea conditions often show variations that make it advantageous to depart from the Great Circle track. On this basis, recommended routes are calculated for different trades. The routes may apply to a season, a month, or even shorter periods. Statistically based recommended routes, which take into account likelihood of ice, fog, high winds, etc., should be used as a reference when considering the advantage of weather routing. To give a rough estimate of weather routing savings in sailing time for a given ship in a given trade with a certain loading condition and with a certain captain is very difficult, not to say impossible. Possible savings in the short term and avoiding damage in the long term should be considered. While it may be that the captain would have selected the same route anyway, there is ample evidence that the additional information provided by the weather routing services generally contributes to an optimal route selection. With today's improved weather forecasts, the number of ships using weather routing services is increasing. During a voyage, it's most important that a good understanding is established between the captain and the weather routing organization. The captain must have full confidence in the weather routing system and its organization. Otherwise, the service is not likely to be used. New knowledge about the forces acting on a ship during various weather conditions together with expensive damage with loss of lives and money, has led to a better understanding of the need for a more accurate way of measuring the forces acting on a ship while underway. An increasing number of ships are today sailing with a weather monitoring system, the information from which is included when estimating the forces acting on the ship. This allows the master to determine the optimal speed which is the highest possible speed without causing damage to the ship.